Hello Cairns people, time to have a look at Sage. So here we have a company that is opening Sage. Uh, part of the process is getting familiar with the layout. We have settings, uh, lots to do with the basic setup of company, financial year, program date we'll use. And this one's already completed. It's the textbook one from Osborne. So it's got customers, uh, how much they owe us, contact details etc and these very important account codes the account references cannot be changed so the only thing in sage that can't be edited afterwards it's also got suppliers a uh, number of suppliers here again how much we owe the suppliers contact details credit limits if you look at one of these accounts we'll see under activity we'll see all what's happening between us and the suppliers and on the company it has nominal records every ledger account has a number uh, bank for instance have numbers between 1200 and 1299 they're already set up sage knows that that's your bank current account if you try and change it you'll completely mess up your company's accounts if we have a look at our financials we can see a trial balance what you see in front of you is the audit trail uh, we'll change that to the future because it was all done in the past and you'll see it's accurate there's no suspense account or anything and there's a trial balance for this company but we're going to set one up for new so sales can hold records for usually four companies at once if you need more than that you have to back them up onto memory stick and file new company so if you'd already got your quota of companies on your system, you'd have to delete one. Set up a new company, fairly straightforward. I'm not going to put in any unnecessary details, I'm literally just going to put in names of companies. And this one is an old practice paper. Campbell Kitchens. So it will turn half an hour into 45 minutes if I start typing all the addresses and everything. So Sage is set up, it's got sales ledger, it's got purchase ledger, it's got all the nominal codes you're likely to use and you can create ones you don't want. But it also knows the difference between sole traders and limited companies. So this one is a sole trader, it'd make a difference, it'd be capital instead of shares. And we're telling it we're going to start a financial year in May because that's what the assessment says. Uh, with that registered, that hasn't always been 20%, so that's why it isn't coming up automatically. And there we are, there's our company. Being created, and now we're on Campbell Kitchens. So the settings then, program date, 31st, that's what I actually wanted it on. That means anything where I forget to change the date, it'll default to the 31st of May. No customers yet, hence it's coming up with a method. This top bit is for sales or the processing. Well, we're not. We're going to stick to the simpler batch invoices. So we've maybe done the invoices on Word. Uh, we haven't got any customers, so we better start creating some. Easiest way, newer versions have a wizard. It's, it's the same. The entry boxes where you type things in haven't changed. It's just the layout's got more modernised. And our first customer, according to this assessment, is Fraser Designs. I'll, I'll put the capital in right. And it's trying to come up with an account ref. Well, this is the same as you see in all AAT examples. Uh, first F for a customer is 001. I'm not going to fill in all this detail. So that nominal code is a nominal code for sales and we'll stick to the default one and we can change it if we need to but that make a few seconds savings every time we invoice them. Uh, we'll put in a credit limit, it isn't actually in the assessment, we'll put 30 days as standard. If you don't click terms agreed it really annoys you because it keeps coming up every time you go on to the customer and everything we create where it's an opening balance or accounts is going to be the 1st of May as per instructions. All this can be put in so if we were direct 
debiting our customers we would need to put in all their bank details or refunding them and we've got three ways of putting an opening balance in this one is either we're getting carried away or we forget and we've created a company we've forgotten to put an opening balance in but actually I can go into the account and click OB and just put it in from there assume it's an invoice and it will always be including that that we put in so once that's in we can click save and I can do close that that one's over its credit limit so it's in red second one two because it's the second one beginning with F second page in our ledger accounts give them the same credit limit So this one will do is individual transactions. So we've only actually got one, but this would allow us to keep a proper record of our invoices if we'd already got six or seven from the same customer and we want to do an accurate bit of credit control. So we'll do report later the ages and age debtors report telling us who owes what money and for how long and those would have to be entered the middle way so the last one SCL interiors all this detail can actually put can go in later if we need to and I nearly forgot to tick the box so there's one value Probably the quickest is our opening balances because it assumes it's an opening balance. So we now have three customers set up, suppliers, very similar method, no suppliers yet. We've also got purchase order processing or batches. That's our first one. And carried away so customer names can be changed and supplier names can be changed but not the account ref so I'll stick to the same it came up with a default one for purchases Stick to the easy way. So very similar process to the customers, but it comes up with a nominal code of five thousand, the default one for purchases. Still agree terms though. If I forget one you'll soon see how annoying it is. In fact this one will have to be changed when we get invoices from them because they're builders, they're not supplying us with materials, so they do repairs for us. Now, if you go back to change the typo after you put the code in, you'll find that the account ref changes and you can get caught out.
that one's over the credit limit so we need to pay him some money so just have a quick look then on the company and financials a trial balance preview it it'll come up with the right time period and there we are uh, debtors control our receivables sales ledger control account creditors means our payables and then the suspense account so the double entries for these were posted into the suspense account 9998 and when we post the rest of the opening balances it should clear so task three most old traditional assessments we could create new nominals we've got to make sure the accounts are in the right range but most of these will exist so our motor vehicles anything to do with non-current assets is under a thousand and then opening balance Uh, debits now if I'd made a mistake on that put it in as a credit or type the wrong amount in to undo it I would have to put in another opening balance and then post it quickly uh, that's the first one if I'm feeling confident without checking it on a trial balance I can carry straight into the rest of them go through the list so that's the bank ones then we have to learn where the sales is uh, in this case we don't have a combined VAT control account it's in two separate one for sales one for purchase and for purchase one we've already seen it was next if we don't know where one is, we just go to the drop down list and it could take time. So, we learn the ranges. Means if you go from one company to another, 3000 for anything to do with capital. And they're all using SAGE, should be pretty much the same area. And drawings will be close, still within 3000. The owner taking out their own money. Only a couple more to do. So now we're into our sales one, slight difference here. There are lots of versions of sales accounts. So as well as putting in an opening balance, I should have changed the name. As I click on opening balance, it'll tell me to save it. I could have just saved it first. And then another one will come out up to a thousand different sales accounts. Getting towards the end of it, another one we're going to have to change because the assessment says not materials purchased. And this will be a debit. 
on our trial balance it has also got the sales as you control account but we've already done those so if we go into financials we haven't got a suspense account that's good that's the right amount so have a quick look check we could export it sage if we needed to or just print it out but that's correct so we're ready set up all our existing transactions have been posted so now all we need to do is take our first backup uh, I'm not going to check the data, sometimes it takes long it won't take long on this one, there's nothing to check and it comes up with a file name that represents the time and the date uh, the location, I'll just stick it onto a memory stick and it's backed up so if anybody tampers with it or anything happens I've got a backup how far I've got 